Hello, kids. It's me, Ghostboy, aka Count Crapula. Here with story time number three. Now, this one I don't think should be cringy. Uh, it's called The Zoo. It's a movie about animals in a zoo. Mo movie. A book about animals in a zoo. <sighs> now, let's start. Because. I don't want to do an intro. It was a great day in the zoo. There's a guy taking a picture of a monkey. Animals of love. I spoke too soon. The leopard and a wolf. Oh, and no chapters this time. It was a summer day in the zoo. <laughs> I spelled summer wrong before, so I put in another animal under it. Rhino giraffe. The zoo house was fantastic. That and a boa constrictor. I'm probably kind of powering through this. Actually, I, yeah, I am powering through this. I might actually go on to the next story if I finish this. The hippo was cool. The picture of a hippo, a very poorly drawn hippo. The elephant was huge. Elephant and a flamingo. The horse was awesome. Not even the right pen. You you know how it is. The kangaroo is my favorite animal. No, it's not. Stop lying to yourself. The iguana was green. Iguana, eagle. The lion and the tiger were cool. I really love kangaroos and wild cats. That was it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now, this next one shouldn't be too bad either, actually. Nigel and the Mysterious Jungle. That's my boy Nigel right there. Nigel Bulk, that's his last name apparently, traveled in a mysterious jungle. Comes face to face with a lion, lives to tell the tale. Reptiles, mammals, and amphibians everywhere. Yep, that's how it is. Sometimes a jungle gets mixed up. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean, but I wrote it anyway. Big mammals! Yeah. There's two logs in the river, and there's a tiger on one of them. And a nice sun. What is that? That's it, I was wrong. There's a floating platform with a monkey on it. And a nice sunset. What? <laughs> That's so weird. My mind was weird. But Nigel didn't go to sleep. He was looking for more animals. He found fish, even though he was far from the distance to even see the fish. There's a cave with a leopard in it. Oh, no, there's a leopard in the cave. Whoops. Now I think there's like two more pages. Nigel took his binoculars, spatial rhino, and looked for stars. That is the worst drawing I've ever made. That's, a, that's apparently my picture of a frog. Just fuck it. By Anthony Molini. Yeah, because apparently that's my name now. It's only four minutes. I guess we can read the other one too. Wildlife poems. These are not poems. Spoiler alert. Oh, this one is cringy. Into, into this planet, we receive wildlife. Chapter 1. Peacock. <laughs> More like cock. <laughs> this peacock was has huge feathers. It makes a sense of color... A humongous, what? A humongous, spelled wrong, rainbow color. No, oh, don't mind that. White peacocks are a little smaller than the blue ones. The blue peacocks have a ginormous rainbow. Ginormous rainbow. Ginormous. Why did I put that again? I didn't even explain the other one. 
Chapter 2. Leopards. Kill me. Wild. Cerise. What? Of spotted. Of a spotted beast. What? Oh, Amur leopards. I think that's how you pronounce it. Are huge leopards. They have big spots on their body. The clouded leopard is a purple leopard. Well, not always. Ocelots and servals are the smallest cats in the world. In the wild. I. That actually might be true. I don't know. Ocelots live in rainforests. And then. I don't know what this was supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be like a crab or something. Snow leopard, cheetah, jaguar. Snow leopards and jaguars look a lot alike. Leopards look a lot like leopards. Cheetahs do too. Spell wrong. Oh boy. Rhinos. Rhinos are my favorite animal. Spoiler alert. A mammal like this has two big horns. A mammal like this. The big horn of a rhinoceros can punch up a lion. That's actually true. Indian rhinos have small horns. That's also true. White rhinos have huge horns. True again. Black rhinos have medium. I mean, they can have big. I've, I have seen it. Not in real life, but I've seen it on the internet. But yeah, predominantly, I think the black rhinos have medium horns. At least compared to the others. Okay, chapter four, apes. Animals that climb trees and that don't. Oh, apes. Apes are huge primates. Gorilla, well, not all of them are huge. Gorillas are the largest primates in the wild. Baboons, I'm pretty sure I spelled that wrong. Look a little bit like mutt. Shall disappear. You can't see me now. You probably can because this is it. Oh, this is a five finger death punch slide, by the way. I have disappeared. Ow. I can't move. Okay, yeah, it's just a fucking He always wants to know what I said. So let me there. Can't adjust this thing. Note to self, don't do that again because I can't adjust it. Baboons look a little bit like monkeys. That's because they are monkeys. Chimps make a loud eek. Some people think it's cool. Some people think it's cool. Orangutans make weird sounds. Chimpanzee, orangutan. Didn't even write a comparison or anything like that. And I think this is the last chapter. Chapter 5. Wait, this is all. I only have 5 chapters in here? Shit, I only, had I only had five chapters in here. Elephants. A tale of huge nosed things. Fantastic. Asian elephants are the only elephants that don't have to... Lord, give me strength. The only elephants that don't have tusks. And, well, my drawing here is interesting. Savannah elephants are the biggest, well, African elephants, are the biggest elephants in the wild. True. Either way it goes, elephants are ginormous. Oh my god. I wrote a warning on the back. Oh. <sighs> warning. If you go on a safari ride, don't get out of your car or the mammals will eat you or hurt you. How can animals be so dangerous? Oh. Well, of all the embarrassing books, that was... Uh, I don't even know. Oh yeah, that was three books in one episode. We did go with this one. And I will... I only have, I think, three more books to show you guys. A little... Well, actually, no. A little more than that, but 
I'll, time will come when I get here, you know. Goodbye.